Okay, right, so one of your game week back in the Premiership, Northampton away first up. You must be really excited. Yeah, very much so, yeah. Um, it's, you know, it's been a couple of months without rugby, uh, without competitive rugby, and uh, I think the boys are ready to go. So, um, during pre-season, it's probably when your body feels the best and like you've, you know, you've made a lot of gains and stuff. So, um, so it's great from that perspective, but you don't get to test yourself. Um, so it'll be, it'll be, uh, it'll be really good um, for, for us as a squad to test ourselves against the Northampton team that are, you know, confident coming into this. So, yeah. Yeah, as good as pre-season has been, um, I mean, the reason you are a rugby player is to play at the weekends. Isn't oh yeah, 100%, it? yeah, 100%, yeah. yeah. So you must be really looking forward to getting back out there and hopefully get back scoring tries. That, that's the plan. Perfect. And yeah, just talk to me a bit more about pre-season. Um, you know, it's a good opportunity to get ready for the games at the weekend, but also, you know, build a squad and build those team relationships that we perhaps struggled to see last year with COVID. Yeah, I, I mean, th that's been one, I think, for me, is almost been the biggest thing this pre-season um, has just been building that kind of camaraderie amongst the team I and mean, we hadn't had any sort of team social occasions uh, or, or anything in the, last, in the past sort of 18 months because of Covid um, which, which sometimes is hard particularly when we've had a lot of new boys coming in and you really want to integrate them into the squad um, but, but you know this, this, this summer we've had a chance to do that um, and, and we've had a bit of, and we've had an opportunity to learn about Gloucester and the club, and and being here at King's Home as well. Um, you know, you feel more connected to the city. So, um, so there's been lots, lots of positives. Um, so yeah, and it's, it'll just be, and it'll be nice now. Now you know a little bit more about the players you're playing with. It's it, it makes playing alongside them just that bit more um, meaningful. Um, and, and you know what makes players tick. Um, all these things, you know, I think enhance. A squad and hopefully enhance our performances. So yeah, do you believe it could then have an impact on? The yeah, massively, teams? massively so. Yeah. Yeah, that's really exciting then. And um, so yeah, obviously you've got Northampton up first. Talk to me a little bit about their threats and you know what we've been working on in training this week as we prepare for them. Oh, I mean, I mean they've they've got um, threats all over the pitch, um, which is you know a bit of a cliche, but um, I really do think they do. Um, you know, since Chris Boyd's um, taken over there, I think they've been playing a really exciting brand of rugby. You know. Coming from the Hurricanes, um, you know they 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 like to play a, an exciting brand of rugby and, and sort of throw the ball around a bit. Um, but equally, they've got a lot of good kickers, you know, around the pitch like like Ferbs and and Mitchell and stuff. You know, they're they're very good kickers of the ball, and I'm sure they'll manage the uh, the game well. So um, we're well aware of their of their threats um, uh, and 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 respect those um, to a certain degree. But also, we know what we can we can bring as well um, and we'll just try and take it to them and, and stuff. I thought you know, um, I thought last season we had one of our strongest performances away there so hopefully we'll be able to sort of um, replicate a bit of that. Yeah that'd be great and just finally how exciting is it to be back playing Premiership Rugby this weekend? Yeah it's, it'll be amazing and, and with fans as well I mean we had there was an incredible turnout for the home healing game it almost felt like a mock uh, uh, sort of Premiership game but um, there's always that added spice for a Premiership game, isn't there? There's that added sort of tension. You can you can feel it in the air. It's palpable. Um, I'm sure as a fan, but as a player, it's even even more so. So um, I'm excited just to sort of feel what that's like again with with um, 15,000 people or however many people it is at Franklin's Gardens. So yeah.